Scoban Engineering is proud to partner with Green Learning, who creates free online education programs about energy, climate change, and green economy. Green Learning's goal is to develop innovative teaching tools and rich educational experiences that empower young Canadians to actively create a sustainable future as well as positive social and environmental change. The Solar Oven Challenge is an engaging activity in which students of all ages use detailed construction plans to build a working model of a solar oven to cook tasty treats using solar energy. Let's get cooking! These are the tools and materials you're going to need. Corrugated cardboard, shredded paper, duct tape, black tempera paint, plastic spoon, white glue, utility knife, plastic container, meter stick or tape measure, oven thermometer, felt tip marker, aluminum foil, one large aluminum foil cake tin, paint brush, oven mitts, two large oven bags, measuring cup and spoons. Prepare the reflective panels. Draw the outlines of the reflector segments on your cardboard. Cut out the four cardboard segments. Pour white glue, one third cup, into a plastic container. Add four tablespoons of water to the glue and stir thoroughly. Unroll enough aluminum to cover one section. Keep the foil smooth and flat as possible. Wrinkles and creases in the foil will reduce the efficiency of the reflector. Apply a thin layer of white glue over the entire surface of the cardboard, including corners. Use the flat edge of a piece of scrap cardboard as a squeegee to spread the glue out evenly. Before the glue dries, place the foil on the cardboard shiny side up and smooth it down over the entire surface. Trim the foil so that it is flush with the edge of the cardboard all around. Set aside to dry. Repeat steps three to five for the remaining sections. Shred some newspaper by cutting it lengthwise into thin strips. Stuff shredded paper into the box. Cut four pieces of duct tape 60 centimeters long and set them aside. Arrange the segments foil side down, wide sections alternating with narrow ones. Position one of your strips of duct tape over the joint between the panels. Join the third and fourth panels, as in step three. Carefully flip the joint panels over the table. Stand your reflector up, foil side in, bringing the edges of the outer two panels together. Have your partner hold the reflector in position while you add the last piece of duct tape. Add the insulated box. In the plastic container, mix two teaspoons of black tempera paint with three teaspoons of the glue mixture. Apply the black paint evenly over the inside of the aluminum foil tin, ensuring full coverage. Set this aside to dry. If the glue and paint are all dry and it is a sunny day, you can warm up your oven in preparation for its first cooking job. Slip the baking tin into the transparent plastic oven. Place your food item on top of the bag and slip a second bag over the first one to protect your food while cooking. Place the baking chamber tightly into the bottom of the reflector. Outside, arrange your cooker so that the cooking chamber is directly facing the sun. If you have any questions, ask an adult for help.